What's up guys, it's Thursday, you're watching 3 and we have a packed evening for all of you. We've got Doctor Who, we got Family Guy, we got Torchwood and lots, lots more. All of that to come after 60 seconds. Hello there, I'm James, it's just before 11 and here's the news for you. No one will ever putting my own stamp on the news again after midnight next year on BBC3. It's two pints. And that is how quiet Anne Frank and her family had to be to evade capture by the Nazis. Jack Whitehall's Bad Education, brand new comedy on BBC Three. Next up this week, a video of a posh man chasing his dog has become an internet sensation. I'd argue that you will never hear a better pronunciation of the words Jesus Christ and Benton anywhere. It could have been worse. At least his dog wasn't called I'm a paedophile. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everyone. My name's Sam. I'm the host for this evening, and this is what I got for you. Up next is a helping from my favourite Time Lord, who is facing the wrath of comedian Simon Pegg, of all people. Then, counting down to the all-new series Children of Earth, we have a classic helping of the guys from Torchwood. That's at eight. Then at nine, it's our daily family guy and Peter's gotten a little more than he's bargained for when he starts writing. Half an hour after that, find out what's really going on at number ten in all-new comedy, The Thick of It. And later at ten, Charlie Brooker gives us his rather unique slant on the world in Weekly Wipe. On three, the Doctor faces a surprising foe floating thousands of miles above the Earth. Starring Simon Pegg, it's this week's Doctor Who. Solar flare activity has increased across space lanes 556 and all commercial flights are advised to avoid the Over on BBC Two right now, Alistair Campbell, guest host, have I got news for you. Here on Three, we're sticking with the sci-fi theme in celebration of their new series. Coming soon, it's a classic Torchwood. Oh my god, that was even cooler than playing with the speech function on my Macintosh. So, computer, what are you thinking about right now? Stewie is cool. Yay! <laughs> And as the news excitedly showed, Prince Charles celebrates 150 years of cramped subterranean hell by using the London Underground. As far as Charles is concerned, an oyster card is a credit card someone else uses to buy you oysters. So little wonder he approached it all like a virgin. Uh, here's how you do it. Uh, push your thingy up against the little round nubbin and you'll put the flaps open. There you go. And ease yourself in all the way. good -o. Not that it was his first time. As ITN nostalgically explained, the last time Charles used the underground was during a pleb spotting trip in 1979, whereas the last time Camilla braved the tube was their wedding night. They didn't go all the way. In fact, Charles only lasted two minutes before popping off. Well, it's understandable, really. Poor bloke hasn't been inside a tunnel for 34 years. You're watching three, counting down to a brand new series, we return to where it all began. Also in high definition on BBC Three HD, this is Torchwood, series one. Torchwood, outside the government beyond the police. Tracking down... Every child 
world has stopped every single child in the world. We are coming. It's happened again. Everyone in the office seems to think what's happening is all to do with aliens. Tell me, is it them? Have they come back? We need that whole team out of the way by tonight. We can't have witnesses. We are coming. Get out. I can't just run, Jack. We are coming. Stop it. We are coming. Torchwood, Children of Earth, Monday at 9 on BBC HD. You're too late. The end has begun. It's as if something's changing. It's as if the barriers between the worlds are becoming weaker. It's them. You've got to do something about them. Run, boy, run. They're trying to catch you. And if we step aside now, all my sacrifice has been for nothing. I've killed many women and children, so just think how easy it would be to kill you. It's time to run, it's time to run. Everything you love will die, and everything you're scared of will come true. He's going to destroy everything. The epic final series of Being Human on BBC Three. I don't know about you, but that looks epic. Do not miss that. Back to the night, though, and we check in with the Griffins, and Peter becomes a best-selling novelist. Though not exactly in the way that you might be thinking. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and 